What's going on Android fans? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from Android Authority, your number one source for all things Android. And today I'm just taking you on a quick review of what the development community is calling the Pi Control. And what the Pi Control is basically is a navigation bar that overlays your Android operating system and allows you to navigate effortlessly and uh, might I add in style. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay guys, so before we get too far in this video, let's go ahead and check out what this Pi Control actually is. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the bottom half of my home screen on my Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, we have our capacitive buttons here, such as back, menu, and of course, our physical home button. And on our physical home button, we can bring up our recent apps, uh, everything of that sort. But what we're going to actually do is put our finger on the very bottom of the screen, swipe up, and we have our Pi Control. Now the Pi Control is an on-screen uh, navigation bar of sorts, uh, it's actually what it is, uh, but you can customize it. Uh, as it is now, you can see that we have our time, our date, we've got our battery percentage, and our back home recent and search keys. Now each of these interacts differently if we actually put our finger on it, and uh, of course it'll perform the task that it denotes. So let's go ahead and click our recent apps, and it brings those up. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So the next thing I'm going to say is that you have to be running a custom ROM to access the Pi Control. Uh, either that or you need to install it with a third-party launcher. But uh, custom ROMs have been implementing the Pi Control, uh, namely Paranoid Android, who created it. And uh, they actually built it on the CyanogenMod 10.1 source code. So it is a CM10 sort of thing. This is a CM10 based ROM as well as AOKP, and uh, that's why it features it. So anyways guys, on this particular ROM, which is the vanilla root box, I'll provide a link in the description, we're going to want to go ahead and open up our settings menu. And from our settings menu, we're going to want to go down to the actual root box settings. Now this will be different on devices running paranoid Android even, mind you. Anyways, we're going to want to go into our Pi controls here, where you can see that we have all sorts of different settings for the Pi control itself, as well as uh, the ability to disable it. I, of course, have it enabled for you guys, and we're going to go ahead and check out some of the options now. As you can see, the Pi Control uh, has color settings here. We can go ahead and choose uh, hollow colors, which is basically a default color. I'm not going to change anything up, uh, just because it's not too important to me. Uh, anyways, we have our enabler right here, where we can enable or disable the Pi Control. Uh, here's our trigger size modification. As you can see, I was running the big trigger. Let's check out the huge trigger. And it looks like this. They're simply larger. So next we've got our Pi Gravity. Basically uh, allows you to choose where the Pi Control comes in from. We've got our bottom. Comes in from the bottom, obviously. Uh, we have it on the right as well. Top and left. So from the right, of course, we could bring it in. And we've got our Pi Control. We've got our Pi Size. And right now it's at the default size. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock that up to the large size. So as you can see, now it's much larger, including the entire uh, circle that the Pi comes in on. Looks really awesome, too. Next is the Pi style. We've got the bear style, the quick, default, or slow. Now that's actually the animation style. So as you can see, it's slowly animating now as opposed to the quick animation that we had earlier. Then we've got our gap in between elements we can set. And we can enable chevron targets, uh, which will allow notification panel and quick settings to be activated when swiped. Anyways, we, have, uh, we can always show the menu button as well. And then we have our last app button. So let's go ahead and check out what the last app was. This is our last tab button, so we'll click that. So anyways, guys, this was the Pi Control. Really awesome. A lot of cool customizations you can do, as well as some nice interface that you can impress your friends with. And uh, I just basically love it. If you guys want to check this out, you've got a Samsung Galaxy S3, go ahead and install the Paranoid Android ROM, or install the Vanilla Rootbox ROM, or you can check out the LMT Launcher, which I'll provide links to in the description for any phone you want. Other than that, guys, this is Clayton Youngberg with AndroidAuthority.com, and stay tuned for more awesome Android content. Peace.